All right, now switching gears. And the Kenya Red Cross Society continues to engage communities living in flood-prone areas around Nyando and Budalangi in early action protocols that will help them mitigate the effects of the floods during the anticipated heavy rains. In anticipation of the backflow from Lake Victoria, communities on the shores of the lake have begun moving to higher ground in a bit to avoid being caught up. A few days before the expected onset of above average rainfall, this community in Budalangi is hard at work in preparation of the rains. It is a concerted effort to open up the clogged drains and clear the thickets, a nip here and a slash there. It is a race against time to secure their homes and livelihoods. The Kenya Red Cross Society has been engaging communities living on the shores of River Nyando and Lake Victoria on safety measures to observe in preparation of the anticipated El Nino phenomenon. <laughs> Tunafanya hizo mitaru, tunatengeneza sasa mvua inaponyesha, inapitisha maji, inaenda maboma na masamba zetu zinabaki juu zikiwa poa. Tangu Red Cross ikuje utufundishe, sasa tunaona saa hizi tumejipanga, tuko tayari. Kwa sababu tuko katika early preparation. Now we are prepared. Even if the rain comes, we are ready. The local administration, however, is calling for urgent intervention to cushion the community that often has to contend with strained amenities as schools and health facilities are the worst hit in cases where the displaced communities overrun the institutions in search of safer grounds. The history of disaster has gone with us for a long time because this place is low. When it comes, our people are dislocated. The rain which has uh, rained over the islands has caused the water to come to near to us. As I said that we are going to see that. So we know it is there. That's why I was saying the first one, we have sensitized the community that uh, the rain is coming. Let us move to the higher grounds. So we are just uh, requesting for any remedy of food provision and non-food provision. The Kenya Meteorological Department has warned of above average rainfall in most parts of the country during the short rain season from mid-October to December this year with flood-related risks expected to continue into January 2024. Mirimoki, Citizen TV. All right, on that note, we're going to take our first break here on 